Hello and welcome my friends. We are back playing Mountain Blade Bannerlord this time. So I used to play a lot of Warband and there's a lot of playlists um, about Bannerlords and there's so many mods. Now I did try Bannerlord when it came out like early access up to like release. It just never felt the same. Never felt the same. Like, I didn't really enjoy what they did with the tournament settings because that was one of those big things that could really make you money playing Warband. That completely changed and it was a bit of off putting for me. But here we are Bannerlord, Mountain Blade 2. Let's give it another attempt. Let's see if this time I could really fall back in love with this. Uh, with this title. One thing though, one of those things that I did see is there are not as many mods to Bannerlord as there are to War. Now of course you can argue, well the game isn't that old yet and the modern community is working very hard to do it, but I feel like the majority maybe just stopped if that is true, let me know if that is the case, like did Bannerlord really like go into the wrong direction if it goes to modding or stuff like that like I, I want to know what happened I know of course there is the, like for every other game there is like a uh, what was the game feel the game of throne one yeah uh, even dart vegan he suggested to me like hey don't do a, a game of throne playthrough and that's that's really cool like if this series goes well and, and it's well received and, and well, what is well received on my channel it, it for now if, if it has a few people watching if there's a bit of comments going i i would say that is a success now i'm not going to do a video every day unfortunately my schedule really changed drastically so i will try doing for this game at least a video a week so i'm sorry if you want to if you want to see more just 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 get bring it to my attention let me know right down below in the comment section those things really help guys so if you have a spare moment you know do the basic stuff you know the liking the, the commenting the, you know youtube stuff the begging for attention i know i know let's start a new campaign and let's let's just see what what changed why are achievements For disabled? For years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Okay, so this is about Benlord, I guess. Scattered foes before them. A uh, warband. Yeah, did I say warband or Benlord? The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. From the forests of the north. to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. I don't mind growing rich. Like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the Empire's tricks and devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War. Fitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. Quick question. Anyone listening Sabaton but and can also, can you confirm if this is the voice a time of, of um of the life stuff? Like, like there is this this album about the, the first world war and there's a, a female voice new telling everything if this is the same from new places and new people I think it is to turn back the tides of destruction 
and bring forth a new world. From the ashes of the old. Okay. Sounds like a plan, I guess. Come on, let, let's play. Because <laughs> it's been a while now. Uh, also, there might be a bit of squeaking. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Like, I'm using a XLR microphone. Um, I, I sometimes hear a bit of squeaking. Let me know if the audio levels are up to your liking. I do, fair warning, I do have two dogs. They walk around. And, and I, 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 I can't mute those. So, <laughs> let's hope they don't bark. Um... Let's take a look. What kind of empire do we do there? I, I knew there's something. The recruiting lords armies cost 20% more for influence. Uh, more renown from battles. Uh, more income serving as a mercenary. 10% bonus to villages that are bond to castle. Oh, that's interesting, actually. Um, would that be interesting? Not sure. Uh, what do we do? We prefer fighting with spears and lances on horseback. So they're mobile and fast. I cannot pronounce any of these. Uh, well, the Empire I can do, of course, but I'm dyslectic. I will try my best with some of the village names and city names and, and, and names. Just, 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 you know, keep that in mind, please. Uh, they're good hunters and wanderers. Uh, traveling foreign surf opportunity in both trades and floor plunder. So they're like archers or something? Uh, recruiting and upgrading infantry 25. So they're not really archers because they're infantry. The one was, oh, that could be interesting actually. Armies lose 20% less daily coercion. Relationship penalties. Um, this is interesting actually. I think the, the sturgeons are interesting. The empire doesn't really say what their preferred means of fighting are. More influence, lesser garrison wages, villagers' health increased 20% less. Okay, we get the Ezerai. Clan based. Trade guys. So, not really. They're, they're really into trade then. Cavalry 30% cheaper to build. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Kuzites? Kuzites. Or whatever. The shouting and the galloping out of rate. Wait, what? Okay, so they are mounted archers. That's interesting. Um, yeah. You know, Britannians. Britain. Brit. Batanians. Batanians. There's no. Whatever. Ooh, great axes, two handed swords. With deadly efficiency. Oh, I don't mind that. Maybe we should go with the Britannians. Okay, well, what of the, the, the pluses do I like the most? Well, because towns owned to the Britannians have a plus one militia production. So you can grow an army faster. But I would say that would lose an army faster as well. Because if they fight with two-handed weapons, they don't use shields. Which I think could... Very much be a problem. Let's go with the Sturgeons. And we'll go with some honey. We might just... Well, we'll just see what we do. It's no real decision yet. Uh, I'm going to just randomize all a few times. No. Sure, why not? We'll just go with Mr. Tattoo. Next. Um, choose your family. You were born into a family of... What does it do? Urbans, this is two-handed weapons, sword. We've got a point in social. What do I want to do? Like, if I was born into just a family, a nobody, I wouldn't per se learn how to fight. I would most likely be like a farmer. We can go with pole arms and athletics. Could be interesting, though. Spear, lance, staff. Ooh, we could go two-handed stuff, maybe. Hmm, we could also become hunters. Bow and scouting. Scouting is going to be very important. I think we were born into a family of, of hunters. Like, we were quite poor. We were hunting for animals. Just tried to sell off. And look at that hair, though. No changes throughout my childhood whatsoever. As a child, you were noted for robbery. No. Um, 
my, I don't think my leadership skill, like I was a hunter, like we were going into the forest. It does, I think we need attention to detail. Yeah, I think attention to detail. We, we were covering those tracks of those deers. Yes, I think we will go with that. Like all village children, you've helped out in the fields. You also... Come on, we were hunters, guys. We were hunting small game. But this archery skill is going to be nuts. We'll try to roleplay this character a tiny bit. As a youngster growing up in Calradia, war was never too far away. You... Hmm... Rode with the scouts? Yeah, I've, there is no need for me to get any more points into the bow. Getting a bit of that, like, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense. Skirmishes. I don't like javelins. I re I, I remember I'm, I'm absolutely horrible uh, with javelins. If you have any, any way for me to, like, pointers, like, how can I increase that? How, how do I... It's my aiming. I always aim either too high or too low. I will go with the scouts. I don't want them just, just, just going far enough. Do I get a five in here? Before you set foot out for a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was... We hunted dangerous animals. No. I don't like... Uh, why would I want a crossbow? No. Well... Anything with food... A famous escapee? No. Defeated an enemy in battle? Well, I shot him from like... Waiting, how many miles away? I'm daring? Valipus won? Interesting. Didn't even know this was a thing though. I saved a village from a flood. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Whatever. Uh, like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set foot with your father, mother, brother and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer. But you did not make it. Wow, I didn't make it? No, <laughs> I'm too young to die. Along the way... The inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two younger siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because we were chicken shit and we ran. We rode off on the fast horse. Yes. We drove them off with arrows. Come on. It, it you know, <laughs> I'm loving this already. Let's go. Um, as for a name. Azvlak. Azvak. Azvak. I... Yeah, why not? Um, recruiting. So this is the Sturgia. Uh, Sturgia. Uh, infantry, 25% cheaper. Arms loose, more or less. We are... All of these options we just got. Well, that's that's great. Well, we have a bit of riding. We have a bit of athletics. I do want to get my athletics up. Um, because I, I archery on the horse could be fun. You know? What do we do? Oh, my. Do I dare? Um, no. I kind of don't, you know. There's a few things in here that I do not like. Recruitment, fine, you know. Map movement speed, sure. Persuasion, okay. Combat, challenging. Um, why not? Um, clan member death. Uh, I want to kind of reduce this by like 50. Like, Well, no. Realistic, whatever. Enable battle death for all heroes. Sure. Why not? We, we will go Iron Man. Uh, you know, the game ends when it ends. However, <laughs> I kind of don't want to die. Um, let's go with 50% on damage to me. It, it kind of sucks if I get taken out every, every first two seconds of any game. Like, okay, I think we'll go with this. Um, you can let me know in the comment section. Do, do an estimate. How long will you think I will survive in this game? After not playing for a very long time on these settings. Let me know in the comment section and I will uh, hopefully prove you either right or wrong. <laughs> Let's go. Brother, 
It's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? Not really, I think, but let's click to continue. This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. I kind of think that would not be too bad. We'll, uh, we'll leave this place. I think I had more than enough practice. Um, tutorial still enabled, choosing perks. Character, let's see. We got two points over there and we have a free focus point. Bow control, deadly aim. 30% more headshot damage with a bow. As, an, as a captain, we get plus 20 archery skills to the troops in your formation. I kind of think we'll just go with bow control, like headshots. Do I want to go with, like, do I want to focus on the personal um, goals, or, like the personal traits? Or is the captain more important? 5% damage with bows by your troops in your formation. Plus 20 archery skill to troops in your formation. I'll go with the damage. Um, let's just click this because we can. Plus 10% armor penetration with bows. Plus 5% armor penetration with bows by troops in your formation. Negative 50 uh, movement speed penalty while reloading. Oh, that sounds like that could be extremely useful. And the reason for it, if I need to run and shoot, it seems like that would be the ideal thing for me. Can't focus more points on that. Uh, what else do we have? Nothing. Uh, we have one point and... Oh, we actually have one in tactics. Uh... Now, tight formations is good for, like, infantry waiting for, like, cavalry. And loose formation is when you're facing a lot of archers, I would assume. Uh, um, negative 10% damage to your infantry from... Uh, ranged troops. Yeah. From ranged troops. Yeah, because if you're standing together, every javelin will hit. Tight formation. Plus 10% damage by your infantry to cavalry when your troops are sent to confront the enemy. Negative 25, panel, uh, uh, negative 25 moral penalty when troops in your formation use shield wall. That actually sounds good. I think the shield wall is quite important. <laughs> yeah, um, it, probably that my I need my thing is probably kicking in sometimes when I'm like humming, but I want to go with tight formation, and we can get more troops in our command. Garrison, or we can go... Oh, so I think Stuart is like money. Oh, that is increasing party size. Like, what will... There used to be a thing uh, where you didn't have to, you know, pay your troops as many. As much, actually. We could also go with Surgeon being our Surgeon of the group. Since we are an Archer, that would not be a bad thing to do. But I, I, I also think we need to be good at combat. Do I want to go with two-handed? I uh, will decide on the weapon that we'll use later. We will be using a bow. It seems like we have a two-handed axe. I don't see a shield, but I don't know for sure yet. Let's um, click apply right now. Let's take a look. Can I check out my inventory? What am I using? This is a one-handed. Okay, good thing we didn't pick that. One-handed weapons... Smithing is also an important scouting level. Yeah, that, that seems good. Getting that up. It does feel like I don't really need to right now. Yeah, we'll just leave it. Let me know in the comment section what you would like. And we'll, we'll go. Let's leave. Before doing anything else, we are low on food. There is a village north of here where we can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better rider than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. <laughs> oh 
Poor sod. Poor sod. Uh, navigation is... Clicking on the map. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Let's zoom out a bit. So we need to go there. And I do want to be a tiny bit careful. Refugees, refugees. Interesting. Now you've entered this uh, village. I do not want to. Do I really need to? I kind of don't want to. Oh, I need to. Oh, man. Come on. I can just buy stuff from there. Now we're here, I oh. guess. So, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The Ed Man here can probably help us. Let's try to find him. All right. Um, interesting. Alt to see the location of the Hatman. He's over there. Oh, bit of lag. Now, I am actually, if if I set up my things correctly, we are on high settings and, and you can actually watch this at uh, 2K video settings. I'm not sure if they will add anything, but, you know, we'll see. I'm Man of this okay, we need some help. Well. I think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who'll join you in going after them if you'll pay for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task for you if you're going after the raid. Oh, there's a lot of updating going on. Okay, we can actually leave this place right now. Uh, we need to recruit four. Wow. Okay. These guys, these are not cheap dudes. Four. Do all of them. Uh, let's buy some food. Two sacks of grain. We'll just buy whatever. Uh, also, another question. The yeah, green there with the 50. Does that mean that this is a cheap sheep? Or would the price be okay to sell sheep? Well, no. I, I think I know. And the price is red. No, I don't know. I know, I'm, I'm just, I'll wait for your guidance. Talk to the hat man again, okay? Talk. Wait. Why? Come on, why is that disabled? It is so weird. Found what you need. Now, about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who comes through it from time to time. Name of Tactics. Treats people for free. <laughs> They're fond of it. Okay. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though wouldn't tell us much. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through it. Well, he's not really a worldly type, just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. I'm worried about him. No, you're worried about his chest. You you wanna you wanna get the chest. I I you're not worried about him. If you can keep an eye out for him, this tactics would be very great. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little more about his quest. Um uh, okay, I guess. Uh, okay, that's bow, that's axe. Oh, that's a slow axe. How do I get off my horse? Ah, oh, like so. Yeah, I think that would be better. Alright, let's leave. We recruited a few men. Holy crap, there's a lot of raiders down here. Uh, these are mountain bandits. Well, I think we have no choice but to do it. Let's go. Let's leave. Let's attack. <gasps> well, this is going to be an extremely short series, I think. How we, we don't think, I don't think we could actually evade them. Okay, how do I pause, like, fight? Do I, can I pause a fight? Uh, there's my troops. Go. Forward! 
I'm just keeping them information. Not sure if that is what we need to like do. Because I'm worried they... Okay, now we're absolutely screwed. Can I do some more damage, please? What are they doing? Oh, they're really charging out. Okay, that's nice. Let's see what they'll do. Like, uh, my goal now is, is like, surviving. Okay, let's get them back in formation. These are a lot of guys. I didn't, like, count on fighting this many at the same time. Horsemen. Where are the others? Well, that's not good. Move. Let's go. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go. Okay, kill the, kill the one more. Oh, missed. Okay, gain the level. Kill them all! Go. Oh, come on. Yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like we might not win. Like, these guys have poles. Like, they would do better. Okay, if they're focused on me, the calf should do better if they charge in from the rear. him in the knee. Come on, dude. I can handle one. <laughs> okay, I have to exit out of that menu like twice. Oh, we've won the battle. Well, actually, I'm... I don't feel too bad about that fight. Yeah, awesome. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the results. Um, what did I do? I killed four. And I've advanced. And the others, they did an amazing job. My brother as well. Let's go. We did actually win. We'll, uh, we'll transfer... Both and the prisoners. Well, okay, that's fine. Let's go next. Ooh, gloves. Let's put that on. We'll uh, put these on. Do I want this? The weight, well, the body armor is great. The leg armor is better than I'll have right now. So I'll put it on. Mm, no, this is nothing. Uh, and nor is this. Uh, we'll loot the rest. Let's go. We've rescued several prisoners. Uh, we've res uh, You rescue several prisoners that the raiders have been dragging along. They look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, one staggers to the feet and comes over to him. Staggers to his feet and comes over you. I don't know who you are. Oh, this is the dude. In your debt. Give me your chest. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. My name's Tactios. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest. But I'm now thinking I'm not face. made for this kind of thing. Look at that. I was with a caravan and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered. So we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed, without any water. And I was just about ready to drop. Well, my, my. 
I could feel the signs of heat stroke creeping up, and I told them they'd just flog me more. If your group hadn't come along, maybe I have a way to thank you properly. I'm afraid I haven't seen any children. But after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they call Radagos, took and rode off with our more valuable belongings, including a chest that I had. He seemed to be controlling more than one band around this area. If this lot has your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. Well, just figure out. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. And you don't know where to sell it? Then you could also just tell I'm me that. I'm to find out more about it. But, as I say, I've had all my urge for travelling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I'd venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. Okay. It doesn't look like much, and I suspect this lot will give it away for a few coins. But I got it from a mercenary whom I treated once, and he swore it was related to Neretzi's folly. I don't know what that means, except that Neretzi's was of course the emperor who died in battle some years back. Maybe you could find out its true value. Okay, so when we get that ornament, I'll just hold on to it, I guess. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. Okay, so the hideout is over there. We currently have 10 people. Two of them are wounded. And there is a mission in the town. Let's talk to him. Come on, man. Okay, we'll visit you. Whatever. What is it that you want? Uh, interaction with this person is disabled during the tutorial. How lovely. I'm also wounded, so we might want to be careful. Um, do we have... Well, we could just sell these. They don't really tell me a lot about... It's... I know that that will hold it. Do it like so. Can I get rid of my prisoners? Let's leave this place. Where is the first... Okay, Imporos is the very, is the, the town. We do have prisoners, do we not? And we also gained a level. I uh, don't really feel the need to do anything. Okay, what's this with this red icon over there? Okay, so pressing 1 does change all of that. Well, it doesn't seem like we have prisoners. Yeah, we actually, we have 13 prisoners. Let's get rid of them. Let's, let's get some money. Okay, we cannot do that. That's great. Honestly, I'm stuck now. Yeah, you, I really am stuck, guys. Um... <laughs> Seriously, how do I get out of this? Return to the game. Clicking everywhere. Cannot go into the town. Seems like I'm sc I am screwed up. Well, I'll be damned. Is there a leave town option? There oh, there we go. I was worried I needed to, you know, <laughs> restart. You f Wait, he's actually leading right now? They just want to immediately get me going. Towards the hideout. And now he takes point. Oh, you are joking. Well, let's go. Let's attack. You know, I, I will just need to do this tutorial. Well. Uh, can we go, like, on me? Delegate, face your direction, line, shield wall, move to position. I used to believe there was a option to say like, on me, fire at will. Lose, dismount, fire at will. Well, lose is always okay, I guess.
follow me. Okay, one. Uh, okay. Uh, well, whatever. They're on me now. That's good. There was one guy over here that I've that I could see. Oh, damn tree. Let's go. <gasps> Well, he killed one of my lads already? That's so sad. There's another one. Should I just... Wait, I actually hit him? I don't aim and I hit him? <laughs> you know what? Okay, one and then three is charge, four is engage. See what they'll do. They don't do jack. That's great. Charge in. <laughs> he stood no chance. Uh, these guys are really fast though. Okay, there's two more over there. I don't want to hit my own troops. Immediately they kill one of my guys. Well, that headman's troop is doing a better job than I am doing with archery. Come on. Okay. What do you want? So, who's this that comes through my place of business, killing my employees? Uh, well, I hear you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven. I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested dozens of little brats oh, in this dead. region. Quite good hunting grounds. You gotta be joking, dude. Already sent most of them off to a slave market, I know, though. You gotta be kidding. Since your hunt for your kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and save your own lives? Either that, or I'll force you to lick up all the blood you've spilled here with your tongues. Or you and I could settle this one on one. Why would I do all you, dude? Let's go. Why would I? Ha Why would I just do all a slaver? <laughs> Look at this man. He's just covered in blood. Way to go, dude. Well, actually, I killed one, so I'm still proud of myself. We gained a bit of morale. We got some more prisoners. Some of these raiders. My brother got hurt. We got three wounded. Okay, we got a pony, which is, okay, it's actually a better pony than I'm having. Anything worth, no, let's just do it like this. Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. You got an axe to the face. I'm going to be your captive. Let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. That's good for you. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find That's me. I like that. You better help us get our brother and sister back, or you'll be swinging from a tree. Oh, you'll need my help, all right, if you want to get them back alive. That is. See, my boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there's a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? 
Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cosy palanquin now, but you best not make it too hard a trip for me. I will just drag you behind my horse if that is okay with you. Uh, you come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It is so battered and coherted that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. This must be the chest. Uh, Tactius mentioned to you that had something to do with Nazat's folly. I was hoping to find more treasure here. Yeah. I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. Mm, I, I agree. found this strange looking metal piece though. It doesn't look too valuable. But it could be the artifact Acteos was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. Alright. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives. And it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full for that, though. I don't know what you're smoking, dude, but man. I'll need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. Okay. Indeed. You have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Maybe. Tacteo said it could be worth a fortune to the right person if you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it can be sold. Yeah. One more thing. When you are talking to nobles and other people of importance, Make sure you present yourself as someone from uh, a distant but distinguished family. You can use our family name if you like, or make up a new one. You will have a better chance of obtaining an audience with nobles, and it'll be easier for me to find you by asking around. Boranoving. Boranoving. Sure, why not? Get on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. Here we go with the stack. I don't know. I never liked these banners, to be fair. Like, they, they used to be amazing ones, but you could also use your own ones. I'm sure you can still do it, but I'm definitely not creative enough to get that done. So, um... I honestly... Yeah, we'll just go with this. Why not? The tutorial is now over. You're free to explore Call Radia. Oh, on the second day of summer, 1084, you found the artifact which Tenkros mentioned. Click to continue. Fine, fine, whatever. Uh, so we have a quest, a lot of them. We've done a few, the old quest, we can hide them. Establish your clan. And we have a lot of days to investigate this. So, sounds like a plan. We'll, uh, we'll take this slow, guys. Like, I don't really like to rush it. We need to get men. Poros, Lacron. A few men and then hunt some thieves down. And I need to be extremely careful. Because now I am seriously by myself. Four looters I could most likely just take. Stop right there. Okay, find me if there. Four against one, I have a horse, and I have an archery skill. The famous last words, I would assume. Uh, where, are they, where are they? Oh, I see them there, behind, in the trees. Oh, sneaky. If I keep missing, then I will definitely die. That's two. Gain the level. It seems that only one of them has stones, and that would be the most dangerous dude then. He will eventually like run out. I kinda hope that they will start running before he does. Now he has his sword out. Oh, come on. 14 arrows remain. One guy, 14 arrows. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this is an easy fight. If I do it. Yep. Yeah, pure victory, guys. We've made it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get the heck out of here. Well, we gained some renown. We got some stuff. I don't think anything is actually worth better. We can get a civilian uh, outfit. I don't see the point in doing that. Uh, do we get some more troops? Yeah, but the um, the horsemen are out. Let's get some infantry uh, by products. Do I have the food? Well, I have two grain. We have food for how long? 19 days. Uh, the value is 30. I think this is very expensive. So I'll not do it. Uh, we can actually just sell this stuff. And get the heck out of here. Uh, what do I gain? Another point. Uh, yeah, I still don't really know uh, which way uh, I want to go with that. Uh, let's leave. And let me get some troops. I, I would like to keep my army somewhat small. I need to be careful with trees. I think like forest troops are there. And this guy actually has a mission. That brings me to nine. Talk nine. to the guy. So who are you then? Uh, who are you? Your detainment. That's great. What do you need? Heard you have a man looking for some... Okay, what do you need? Things are getting a bit rough around these parts. I have a lad to help me out with local troublemakers. But they don't last as long as real warriors. Maybe you could take them out. Show them what actual war is about. E um, but at least I want to give you a balance. Um, yeah, I could, but I think they might die. Yeah, you know, I'll take them. I'll take them. We'll, we'll, we'll try doing this quest. Usually that's quite difficult. They need to be quite hard of a level, if I remember that correctly. We've got 14 guys now. And... Uh oh I walked it. I didn't mean to do that. That's great. Let's, let's go. Train troops. Okay. Uh, if I go to quest, training troops... Uh, give you five men, hoping to come back with some experience, training them too much danger. We need trained... Tr are you kidding me? Is that it? Party. These are five borrowed troops. Is that still a way to, like, check? What would be a trained troop? Yeah, that's... that's I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. We've got no quarrel with you. Oh, it's night time. All right, there we go. First actual attack. Um, can I go line? That would be F2. And I want you to go into a shield wall formation. Then I want you to move forward to actually get into that shield wall formation. Time to get me bow. That's completely the wrong key. The banners are not really helping me. Uh, how do I get out of this damn view again? I honestly don't know how I get into... F oh, there we go. Ah. Oh. Well, they won. They did a great job. They were also quite loud. Uh, we got some prisoners. We get borrowed troops. What would you... Okay, so these two veteran borrowed troops cost me 11. Okay. That's expensive, dude. I'll get some infantry. Um, no. 
<laughs> no shield, there is a hatchet. Um, what's the length? Tier 2 weapon, the length is 71 versus 65. I think that would be a better weapon to have on horseback. Uh, we'll have to sell those things though. Did we lose one troop or is he wounded? I think we lost a troop. Let's go to the next town. Yeah, we're definitely faster right now. We'll hunt them down. There we go. Let's attack. I need to get really used to this. Make a shield wall. Move. Let's get out of that. Let's go. Now we got a better weapon. Okay. Well, that was easy. That was way too easy. Okay, done. Uh, we get a few weapons. Let's loot all. And is there anything I could still use? Doesn't really seem all that good. Let's press done. And can I level up my party? It doesn't seem so. Hey, wait, there's, there's some, like, grain over here. Maybe we can buy a few bits of that. Uh, let us buy products. So the grain is 13 over here. And we definitely bought this way too expensive. Let's buy the grain. I'll keep the horse, make sure we'd never sell that, and... Let's just do it like this, please. A capacity exceeded... There we go, 30 grain. Done. Leave the village. I'll quickly go back to... Like, where we start to pour us, because the grain was extremely expensive over there. And I think that we would probably do best to stay on the road, travel from town to town, seeing if there are missions that we could actually do, keeping an eye out on looters and killing them, I think would be a good way. Now, if I go here, trade, the grain is 16, definitely not a place I want to sell it, uh, which is damn shame. There are a few missions over here. Yeah, not sure about those. Any more looters? Let's do one more fight. We're not looking for a fight. Well, I didn't say it's going to be a big fight. Here we go, guys. Last fight of this particular episode. I don't think there's going to be a lot of me, a, mo a lot of the moments I can cut out, but I will do my best to make the video as smooth as possible. This is so damn dark. Do I constantly have to tell them? Shield wall. Okay, shield wall. Soldiers. Okay, so those are infantry units. And they're in the distance. Move. Okay, what if I move them like in formation? Uh, let's go engage. Advance. Well, the four of them actually did kill one of my guys, which is a damn shame. Get that prisoner. Borrowed troops. Experienced. Let us this time actually click. Done. The borrowed troops remain in your party are now all experienced. You can send them back. Uh, yeah, we will send the troops back. And we did... Wow. Holy crap. We got a lot of money for that. That makes no sense. We're over encumbered. That is a bit of a damn shame. 
We were a lot of that, actually. Well, I guess we'll have to suffer through it, then. It is what it is. Uh, we're very near to a town. I'll just go there. Okay. Trade. Now, uh, I want more horses. Uh, we're eight guys. So let's get eight horses. We'll keep the date. And we'll sell these two. There we go. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.